community. President, Congress, Alan Coombs Community, Move in Motion 8. Congress, I've been a steelworker for more than 30 years, an official of a blast furnace branch in Margam Works, Port Talbot, in South Wales. It's what I do, it's in my blood, it's part of Port Talbot's DNA. My steelwork supports more than 12,000 jobs on site and in the local supply chain. I can't overstress just how important the steel industry is to Port Talbot. Just as it is to Corby, Newport, Teesside, Shotton, Scunthorpe, Rotherham, Hartlepool, Skinning Grove, Motherwell. All these are areas that struggle with unemployment and where opportunities are not easy to come by. Areas where the secure jobs in the steel industry with good terms and conditions built up through decades of trade union organisation are absolutely vital to the local economies. So it breaks my heart to think about what has happened to my industry over the last 30 years. That period has been marked by closure after closure and cut after cut at plants right across the UK. Tens of thousands of high quality manufacturing jobs lost to areas of the country that need them the most. It's, a, it's tragic. But as we meet you today and as things stand, there is worse yet to come. The UK steel industry is on its knees and faces a fight for its very existence. In the face of continued global slump in demand for steel and a criminal lack of support from Westminster. Already this year, thousands of job cuts have been announced. And when Congress meets next year, it's likely to have lost thousands more. We are in desperate need of urgent assistance from government and an active industrial strategy that recognises the importance of heavy industry and enables our steel workers to compete on a level playing field with producers in Europe and beyond. At the moment, energy costs are more than 50% higher than they are in Germany, just because their government recognises the importance of their steel industry. How can we compete with that? If we value in our industry, we've got to be prepared to fight for it, and that fight must be led by us, the workers, the trade unions, the guardians of the industry that have provided a good standard of living to generations of steel communities for 100 years. Steel is an unforgettable part of our heritage. It must be recognised. It's also crucial to our future as a key foundation industry of national strategic importance, vital to our industrial supply chains. That is why my union community launched the Stand Up for Steel campaign, standing side by side with steel employees and in industry associations and politicians representing steel constituencies. All steel want, workers want is a fair chance and an opportunity to show what they can do. Because for decades they've topped the global pro productivity leads and they know exactly how to roll steel better than anybody else or care more about the industry or better understand its importance to families and towns and communities. Conference, the UK, UK needs its steel industry. We need to take action now. Congress, let us send a me message to, to government and to industry. Our industry will fight for it. Stand up for steel, stand up for steel communities, stand up for the UK steel industry. I move the motion. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alan. Call upon Unite.